Hello, and welcome to Christmas Story Time with your most favorite person in the world. Well, besides God, your mom and your dad, maybe your best bud at school, I'm pretty sure I'm up next, and this Lamar Worship. Listen, Christmas is my favorite time of the year, and I know it's yours also. And you guys are smart. You guys know it's not about the Christmas trees, the presents, and yes, I like presents too. We know that's not about that stuff. We know it's about the day that Jesus came for you and me. So today, we're gonna read a story by Sarah Young called Jesus Calling, The Story of Christmas, illustrated by Katya Longy. Come on, let's check it out. Christ was there before anything was made, and all things continue because of him. The Christmas story began long ago, before the angel told Mary she would have God's son, before shepherds saw the angels and wise men saw the star. God had a plan for Christmas. From the beginning of time, God's plan was Jesus. Jesus calling. I made everything, including you. Long before you were born, I thought of you and I loved you. God proclaimed this good news to Abraham long ago when he said, all nations would be blessed through you. Count the stars, God told Abraham. That's how many children will come from your family. When Abraham and Sarah were very old, God gave them a baby boy named Isaac. Then Isaac had a son, and Isaac's son had a son, until Abraham's family grew all the way to Jesus. Jesus called. I am the light of the world. Everyone who trusts me as Savior is adopted into my royal family forever. For a child will be born to us, a son will be given to us, and his name will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Eternal Father, Prince of Peace. God's prophet talked about the Savior who will come into the world save everyone who believes in him. Everything happened just like they said it would. Jesus called me. I came to save everyone who trusts in me. Nothing can change this amazing plan. The virgin will be pregnant. She will have a son, and they will name him Emmanuel. This name means God is with us. What does Emmanuel mean? Good job. God's ways and timing are always perfect. God picked just the right time for Jesus to come to earth, and he picked just the right parents for him. An angel appeared to a young girl named Mary. Don't be afraid, Mary, said God's angel, Gabriel. Soon you will have a baby boy. His name will be Jesus. Nothing is impossible for God. Jesus called. Remember that I am Emmanuel, God with you. Be happy because I've come into the world and into your life. Don't be afraid to take Mary as your wife. The baby in her is from the Holy Spirit. An angel of the Lord appeared to Mary's fiance, Joseph, in a dream. Joseph, the angel said, don't be afraid. The baby is from the Holy Spirit. Name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. When Joseph woke up, he did just what the angel commanded. Jesus called. If you can look through my eyes, you will see how wonderfully I am caring for you. I want you to live by faith, trusting that I am with you and I love you.
Behold, I send my messenger, and he will prepare the way before me. Mary's cousin Elizabeth was very old when an angel told her husband, Zechariah, that they would have a son, and they were to name him John. John spent his entire life showing people that only one person could forgive them of their sins and take them to heaven. That person was Jesus. Jesus called him. God sent John to tell people how to get ready for me. My Father in heaven sent me to save you from your sins. And she gave birth to her firstborn son. And she wrapped him in cloths and laid him in a manger because there was no room for them in the inn. Just before Mary was about to have her baby, Joseph had to travel to his hometown, Bethlehem, but there were no rooms left for them. In a stable where the animals were kept, Mary's baby, God's son, was born. In the stillness of the night, he came, God's gift of Christmas the one who will save the world. Jesus called. The message of Christmas is my birth. I gave up all the riches of heaven to be born in a stable. Everyone who believes in me becomes a child of God. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths and lying in a manger. In then by fields, shepherds were watching over their flocks. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord was shining around them. Do not be afraid, the angel said. I bring good news that will bring great joy for all people. Today, in Bethlehem, the city of David, the Savior has been born. He is the Messiah, Christ the Lord. Jesus calling. The angel's words to the shepherds were full of good news and great joy. I came into the world to be your savior so you can live with me forever. We saw his star in the east and have come to worship him. Wise men from the east followed a bright star. The star led the wise men to Jesus and they were filled with great joy. We have come to worship your son, they told Mary. They presented their gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh, and worshiped him. Jesus called me. Christmas is the time to be joyful because it's when I came to the earth and lived in your world. I am the greatest Out of Egypt I called my son. The angel of the Lord appeared again to Joseph in a dream and said, You must escape to Egypt. Take the baby and his mother. King Herod has devised a plan to try to kill Jesus. You must stay until I tell you to return. Joseph obeyed. He took his little family and fled to Egypt for safety. Jesus called. Be willing to follow me wherever I lead, even when my way seems scary. The safest place to be is close to me. Believe in the Lord Jesus and you will be saved. When it was safe, Joseph moved his family to a town called Nazareth in Galilee. Jesus grew up strong and wise. He taught people about God and his kingdom. Jesus loved people more than anyone who has ever lived on earth. He died so that all the bad things we do can be forgiven and we can live forever with him in heaven. Jesus called. During this season of giving and receiving presents, remember that the very best present of all is life that will last forever. How great is the love the Father has lavished on us, that we should be called children of God. 
this Christmas, remember that God loves you so much that he sent his son, Jesus, to the world so he can spend forever with you. God loves you more than you know. God's glorious gift of Christmas is for you. Jesus calling. I did it all for you because I love you more than you can imagine. Wow, what an awesome story. Now, God's gift to you and I is Jesus. What gift can you give God for Christmas? How about you? What better gift than you? Listen, all you have to do is repeat a prayer after me. Father, thank you for your son, Jesus. I believe that he came to forgive me of my sins. I believe that he died, and I believe that he rose on the third day with all power in his hand. And just like that, you've given your gift to God. Merry Christmas. See you next time.